Hi guys, so I'm back with some bonus content. So I'm thinking I wanted to share with you my um, favorite bonnets or what I use to protect my hair to retain the moisture. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my bonnets that I wear and I have a ton of different options that I want to share with you. So please keep watching. bonnets so the first bonnet I'm going to share with you is the first bonnet that I ever spent well no let's rewind so the bonnet I'm going to share with you is a, a fave bonnet so my auntie got me this bonnet she always gives me bonnets <laughs> from the beauty supply store and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with and so my very first bonnet that I loved I don't know why I love this band of this bonnet or on these types of bonnets but I do but the the bonnet is stretched out so much that I have to put a rubber band on it to kind of make it fit the perimeter of my head but I don't know how much these things cost but this is my one of my favorite bonnets I have not thrown it away but I don't really use it as much as I used to I don't know what type of fabric I think this is polyester I don't know um, leave a comment down below if you know uh, the type of material this is but um, this is what everybody's go-to is um, it's at the beauty supply store I think you can get them for like three dollars two dollars I don't know but I love this bonnet and I'm not getting rid of it this is this is like memories you got to know where you came from now right so <laughs> this is the first bonnet I don't even know what the name of it is but my very first bonnet that I love period period sis the next bonnet um that i purchased so i was trying to be fancy trying to be bougie trying to be sadity and i purchased one of these glow by day bonnets and so as you can see it's huge it's stretched out um it has a drawstring but initially it had um some elastic and so the elastic was so tight it would give me headaches and so i actually literally the same day next day i purchased it cut the elastic and like sewed it up myself crazy um but i just didn't want a headache but it fits over any hairstyle big hair big hair don't care it fits over it but um, my only complaint is that the elastic was too, too tight. Um, again, I got the large bonnet. Maybe my head just big, but yeah. And I think at the time I paid about $30 for it. 30, 30 20 or 30. Currently they're $20 um, on Globe by Day's site. Um, but yeah, and I was kind of bummed, but I still love it because it's double lined. Um, so I got blue and then I got black and so I wear it both ways. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. So I would recommend it. Um, but just know the elastic may be too tight. And I literally went in this thing and was like, I paid $20 for this. I'm not going to one send it back i'm not sending it back because i needed a, a luxury bonnet or a, a satin pure satin bonnet double lined the best um and so yeah and then i just i don't know if it's still in here i think i just ripped it out girl doing the most um so yeah that's the second bonnet that i purchased and then a brand reached out to me named Maine Pharmacy and they sent me their bonnet. Now these bonnets are great quality. So it's double lined as well. And um, I had a video about it as well, but this is like legit my go-to bonnet. This is a go-to bonnet. Like I interchange this bonnet and another bonnet, my next bonnet, I'll show you in a second. But I grabbed this. It's not too tight. It has the drawstring. It's satin. I use it this way. 
as well as the other way. And I'm gonna look it up online. Small black owned business. Not the main pharmacy, but main pharmacy, I think. I'm trying to find it, sis. Why can't I find it? Anyway, I'm gonna leave the uh, YouTube, not the YouTube, I'm gonna leave the um, Instagram or whatever, if it's still available. She was, I think she was in like medicine or whatever, like maybe a nurse or something like that. Um, she reached out to me on Instagram and said, would I want to try her bonnet? She sent me one. I was like, I'm always down to try a bonnet um, and you know, just share with my audience and I'm down, black owned woman owned small business i'm down so i did that and um i'm so thankful that i did and i think that a couple of people purchased um her bonnets i think that they were very affordable like 10 bucks five ten bucks something like that like it was just insane when i looked and was like this quality for yeah so i don't know if they've increased the price um because i can't find it at the moment but i will leave any information that i have down in the description box so please be sure to check that out also snippet plug please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you have not already um if you like this content uh yeah do that there yeah. please please um, so that's the third bonnet that I had. And then another bonnet company, Humble Glow, sent me their bonnet. And this is luxury too, sis. This is luxury too. And it has a band for your edges. And you don't have to worry about any tightness. This has like an elastic, but it's just at the back. My kind of bonnet. And you can tie it. So you can tie it as tight or as loose as you want. It's a big bonnet. About as big as the rest of them, except for my very first bonnet. <laughs> So it fits all of my hair. The print is fabulous. I'll leave the information down in the description box. Um, I'm about to look it up really quick um, because I want to share with you the price of them. And so it's called the Elite Bonnet. Very, very good um, quality. It's double layered, definitely high quality. Um, and they come in two sizes um, and they're $36.99. So I feel like it's worth it. You use your bonnet. Your bonnet saves your hair, sis. Your bonnet saves the moisture and all of the work that you've done on wash day. It saves it. And I prefer bonnets over, I have, I have satin pillowcases too, so I do the dual thing because satin is good for your skin as well. Um, and like, so in case my bonnet slides to the back like this, my edges are protected. But you didn't know that's why I do it. But um, yeah, so bonnets keep all of the products like off of my face and in this bonnet. So it's good for people with um, sensitive skin, I think, or like acne prone skin because your hair isn't all over the pillow and then you rub your face on the pillow. So that's why I opt for a bonnet. Bonnets aren't, who told me this? Generally speaking, bonnets aren't cute, right? But I'd rather be not cute, right? And have great hair when I take off the bonnet than to not wear a bonnet and your hair be dry and dusty and crusty. Just my opinion, just my opinion. So um, yeah, so this is the, from, from what I've collected now, this is the most expensive, expensive bonnet that I have and I would purchase this. Like legit, I would. I would get another one. Facts, facts. I interchange these two bonnets the most now. 
Um, I think I, the glow by day, I don't anymore just because um, these are my go-to. These are the newest ones that I have, but I definitely would use this for like big, big hair because it's already like stretched out. And so you just slap it over, you know, it's easy to come over and then you just, you know, drawstring it. Whereas with these, same way, but you know, you have to push your hair in to the bonnet. It don't matter. None of that matters honestly, because your hair is gonna look good regardless when it comes out of the bonnet. Um, and then the last bonnet I got in this packet, oh no, I have two more bonnets. So, I got this bonnet in um, my Miel package. The, and I haven't even used these products. I'm so late. I think these products came out like six months ago. Leave a comment down below if you'd be interested in me reviewing the oats and honey collection from uh, Miel. Leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, this is the bonnet. It's super cute, super luxe. I thought that I would like it. Um, just looking at it, like super cute, dual wear. Um, but she tight, she tight. And then there's not a lot of um, movement in it. So this is for a small head. And I don't know if my sister has a small head. I was supposed to give this to her for uh, in her Christmas stuff. Failed to do that. So sis, this is yours. This is yours, you can have this. It's new, um, but I just need to give it to you. <laughs> Cause I don't, I, I don't know what you're gonna do with it either. I mean, I don't think your head is big as mine, but um, I don't know, you can do something with it, I think, I hope. And then my last bonnet, everybody knows you, if you don't have anything, you need to go buy the beauty supply store and get you a bonnet. Get you a bonnet at the beauty supply store because it's like one to three dollars. You need something over your hair, even if it's not pure silk or some, even if it's not pure satin. Um, and they claim that this is this is satin. This is a satin, I guess, blend. I don't know. My mom's into textile and fashion and stuff, and so um, I wonder because this is not looking like so. This is satin, right? This isn't looking like this. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But it's a super jumbo and I got it for the big hair days. I actually got it for when I do the hair paint wax because I will not mess up my good bonnets with the hair paint wax. So I purchased this at the beauty supply store. This is Red by Kiss. Um, and just naturally protects your natural hair. Silky satin fabric, prevents breakage, holds style and retains moisture. This is like the OG bonnet. Slat satin sleep cap, um, super jumbo size. So yeah, this for this, or if I do something else with my hair, which I don't know. Um, but yeah, so those are all of my bonnets. Leave a comment down below if you wear bonnets or if you, um, what do you what do you wear on your hair at night or how do you prepare your hair at night how do you retain the moisture in your hair how do you go to sleep what's your sleep routine to protect your hair do you protect your hair do you use satin bonnets do you use satin pillowcases do you do a pineapple do you band your hair at night what do you do i just literally when I do my hair, I slap my bonnet on and figure it out the next day. Usually, and I've always done this, at whatever length I had, I never like banded my hair at night or any of that stuff. I just slap a bonnet on because the curls will curl. The curls be curling if you prepare your hair the proper way on wash day. That's my motto, I think. I've never had to do any finagling in the morning other than like, you know, fluffing or maybe spray some aloe juice, maybe. But yeah, it's never been anything but just slap a bonnet on. So that's it, that's all. I'm so, so, so glad you decided to click on this video. 
if you want to stay, if you want to see more content from me, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and see you next time.